today I'm gonna read this Babysitter Club book for 10 minutes again. So today I'm gonna compare my reading with subtitle, the video subtitles and and when I finish this reading, I'll summarize this story to so start. Did you ever have have a cat? Asked as Karen. This the summer before last. I replied. I broke my ankle just like your mommy. How did you do it? I was taking our dog Louie for a walk. You have a dog? Can I see him sometime? Inter interrupt Karen, wiping away a milk mustache. I guess I answered. Anyway, I was taking Louie for walk for a walk, except I was riding my bike. Louie was on his leash, running next to me. We came to a tree. Louie went one way. I went the other. The leash wrapped around the tree and whoosh, I flew on my bike. Karen giggled. Giggled. Even so mad Andrew ma managed a tiny smile. I was beginning to feel better. Mary Ann was right. Karen and Andrew weren't too bad, considering Watson was their father. So how? So that's how I broke my ankle. I had to wear a cast for six weeks. I couldn't go swimming all summer. Yuck, said Karen. Yuck, said Andrew. It was nice, nice change from yuck. Yep. He went back to his lunch, which he was eating slowly and neatly. Take a bite, chew, 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 chew swallow, wipe mouth, start over. Karen ate, ate Karen, Karen ate scientifically, scientifically too, scientifically too, for a moment, and I could tell she was thinking about something. At last, she put the remain of her sandwich on her plate and said, "You're crusty. You're you're crusty, right?" Right. I replied, "Is your mommy Eddie Thomas?" That's right. The kid was smart. My daddy said he loved your mommy. I guess I said um, uncomfortably. I realized that Karen looked uncomfortable too. If they get married, your mommy will be my mommy, step mommy. I mean. Stepmommy, I mean stepmother. I correct her, and guess what? I'll be your stepsister's stepsister, and yours, Andrew. Yep, said Andrew. Karen thought for a while again. That will be okay, she said at last. And then, do you like being this divorced, Christy? Not particularly. Not particularly. Not po particularly. Not particularly. I said. How come? Because I never see my father. He moved to California. That's that's far away. That's far away. Ooh, said Karen. We don't like being divorced, divorced either. But we get to see our daddy lots. I know. I said dryly. Boy, did I know, wasn't the perfect divorced father. Our mommy is getting married again. I know. We don't want her to, do we, Andrew? Yep. You don't? I said. Nope. Mommy said, oh, we are so lucky. We'll have two daddies. And then, and maybe someday, two daddies and two mommies. And we, and, but we just want our old mommy and daddy all in one house. I know what you mean. Karen was all right. Suddenly, I was aware of a little sniffling sound next to me. Andrew was crying into a sandwich crust. Karen jumped up and ran around the table to hug her brother. I'm sorry, Andrew, she said. I'm sorry. What's wrong? I said nervously. She doesn't like to hear about all... All the moms and daddies. I'm not supposed to talk about it too much. Oh, I wiped Andrew's tear with my napkin. 
Hey, you guys, how about some special treat? Ice cream for dessert. At lunchtime? At Karen incredibly. Sure, I said, opening the freezer door and hoping I'd find ice cream inside. Luckily, there was almost a whole quart of cookie and ice cream. Cookie and ice cookie and cream. The worst kids are special kids. How about it, Andrew? Andrew's eyes lit up. Okay, he sniffled. That's good. All right. I ruffled his, I ruffled his hair. I placed three bowls of cookie and cream ice cream on the table, and we ate away happily. Karen was so happy she couldn't even speak. As we were slopping up the last dribbles, Boo Boo waddled into the kitchen. Karen jumped up, jumped up, and ran to the back door. Wait! I cried. Karen, don't let him out, okay? But he wants to go. He's our loud. Is Mrs. Porter, Porter home? I asked. Karen stepped step away from the door. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we better keep him inside, just until your dad comes back, okay? Yeah, said Karen. Good idea. But we can go out, I added. I decided that would be all right, as long as we didn't go near Mrs. Porter's yard. Because divorced kids are special kids, said Andrew. You got it, I said. Andrew giggled. You got it? That's funny. Andrew and Karen and I played hide and seek until it was time for Andrew's nap. Then Karen and I sat on the back porch and read Little Toot and the Snowy Day and tell of Mrs. Triggy's wrinkle. We were halfway through the little engine that could, that could when Watson came home. How is she? How, how is she? I asked. I wasn't sure what to call or Watson's asked wife. I didn't even I I didn't even know her name. At home and on her feet, he replied, or or at any rate on her foot. Okay, but you guys, he said to Karen, are going to stay with me for the rest of the weekend so mommy can rest. Okay, goody said Karen. How did everybody get along? Asked Watson. Fine, I answered. Suddenly, I felt shy. Daddy, I like Christy, Karen announced. I don't mind. I don't mind if she's going to be our stepsister. Watson smiled, but I blushed. Well, I'm glad everything went so well, he said. Does she have to go home now? asked Karen. Well, she won't be able to if Andrew is asleep. Is he napping? He went down about. I checked my watch. Almost an hour ago. Hmm, said Watson. I don't really want to wake him up. Do you do you want to call your mom and have her pick up pick you up? I better not, I said. She probably won't wait want to leave baby Michelle. Do you mind waiting? Andrew should sleep more than another half hour or so. I don't mind and I didn't. I really didn't. While we waited for Andrew, Watson took turns playing checkers with Karen and me. He won every game. I was glad because if he let, let, let me win, it would have proved he was trying too hard to make us feel like one big happy family. Let, later, at, as Watson was driving me home, Karen says, Christy, I wish you were our big stepsister right now. Well, I said, how about if I be your baby sister instead? That's okay, said Karen. Yeah, that's okay, echoed Andrew. I glanced at Watson. He was sneaking, sneaking a look at me too. We smiled at each other. Mom, a happy ending! That night after Mom had gotten David and Michelle to sleep, she came into my room. I was writing up my experience at Watson's in the Baby Stairs Club note. So, she said, now that we have a moment to ourselves, tell me how everything went at Watson's. I'm sorry was thrown at you today, but maybe it worked out for the best. I was glad Mom wasn't saying I told you so. It went okay, I said. Andrew and Karen are cute. Andrew hardly ever talks, though. Karen says the divorce upset him. 
it it does upset him, mom said, but he also get got a big talk card for an older sister. He almost doesn't need to speak. <laughs> Karen sure is a big talker, I agreed. I think she's really smart. Karen sure is a big talker, I, I she is. She she just started kindergarten and her teacher is already thinking of putting her in first grade after Christmas. Wow, I said. Wow, I said. Christy, would you babysit for Watson children? Oh, again, he, he needs you. Well, I'm done with this. Well, I'm really glad I read this chapter. So I'll summarize this story at P.S. Bye. P.S. So, so summarize this story. So first, Kirsty didn't want to babysit Watson's kid, but she had to because it was her job. So he went to Watson's house and babysit the Watson's, Watson's children, Karen and Andrew, but but a uh, different. Uh, as her mind, they were really cute and nice, and the Karen was really big talker, so Ke Christy liked them, and it was a handy, happy ending, like the summarizing, and so today I want to, I just wanted to tell you I will I so I want to improve my pronunciation at reading so i'm practicing this reading with this book and um today uh these days uh, i'll i'll keep my reading 10 minutes so